You and your chairs. You know chair fights are awesome. Yeah, I do. Now, how does the Shall Frank Chuck system work in this game? Pretty much, if you're playing solo or if you're hosting a co-op game, then you play as Chuck Green. There's no choice about it. The only way to play as Frank West is to join your friend's co-op game. Feel excuse me, I'm off to get some dynamite. Mm, look, man, we can make combo weapons later. We gotta do the missions first. It's always the it's always my main priority now. That's why. That's what kind of screwed me over on the Dead Rising One Let's Play was because I decided to to kill zombies completely kill randomly zombies. and show off the game. Uh, I I screwed up instead of doing the missions, and that's what kind of uh, almost screwed me over on the game. Knee drop. <laughs> The old electric prod. The ouch. The cattle prod. Hey, that was an accident. Yeah, sure it was. Look Frank. out. Anyway, we gotta go. We gotta input these access codes. Here's so, an access code. What else should I explain? The leveling system. Um, leveling is a little different in this game because, well, the game starts you off at level 40. Well, it looks like that the game starts you off at level 40. I love doing this move. The game starts you off at level 40 but with pretty much level 10 stats and you pretty much work your way through about 40 levels within the course of 10 instead. Zombie handler with a crowbar to the head. God, I love it. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll take one grenade. Yeah. I think I'll do one thing. Just one. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, too. This game also has new combo weapons, and if you are good enough to make them all, all the new combo weapons, then you get an achievement for it. This is one of them, called the Zap and Shine. What do you and use? I love it. Yeah. What do you use to make it, Saber? You use a cattle prod and a floor buffer. Nice. And god damn is it effective. By the way, I have a piece of meat. Did you get that dynamite earlier? Yeah, would you like the dynamite? Yes, I would. Okay. Here. Let me find it. Thanks. There you go. Gotta run. No problem. What else did I not explain? Co-op is pretty much um, the same way as Dead Rising 2's on-disc co-op. Well, such as if I'm your shot at. if your friend dies, then you can use help. You can use you can give them food items to heal them. Oh yeah. And you know, friendly fire still occurs. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I didn't even input the first access code yet. What are we doing making weapons? <laughs> you gotta input these codes. Or I'll input these codes. I don't even codes. know where you went. Okay, this is another thing in the game. It's a security camera. If you if you take it out, most preferably with the belligerent, you will get a few prestige points. And if you may, there are 47 security cameras in this whole game. And if you kill them all, if you destroy all the security cameras, then you get an achievement. But keep in mind that there are 47 of them, so it's gonna be hell for you unless you have a guide. Yeah, I most prefer. I prefer most to go to game FAQs. That guy just used a flashbang grenade against himself because he's a moron. Hey, uh, yes, there are flashbang grenades. This game got invaded by Call of Duty yet again. I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. 
So, yeah, it pretty much works the same way, the, the co-op. No, that's not what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about how the co-op system worked, was I? I can't remember at this point, to be honest. Time for an explosion. There we go. And why am I traveling here? Well, because this is... Even though you have to go through hell and kill all these security guards, it's still worth, uh, you know... The weapons you get yeah. here are so worth it, and that was shenanigans. That was also shenanigans. Well, they're security guards. In other words, go wankers. off the rails. What <laughs> did you expect? <laughs> I swear to God, if I get shot. Okay, I'll save this dynamite for later. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. I'll put down this tennis racket. Oh yeah, security cameras. Oh, there was something that I didn't show you back in the room with the access code. But I'll show you now because I'm right near it. And I'm going to follow you because I'm getting... The aim here. See the RB button under the weapon? You can take pictures in this game. And guess what they brought back from the first game? The first Dead Rising. Prestige point stickers. Smile pretty for the camera, Chucky. Yep. Yep, you can take pictures. That's and a if good, you can good take a picture of all the prestige point stickers in one playthrough, then you get an achievement for it, just like in the first first on this Dead Rising. Anyway, follow me, Saber, boss. we gotta head to the next access code input. Why do I need a cool. lamp with a sombrero on it? You don't! Oh yeah. Yeah. The good old backflip. Yep, I think... I kinda did that on purpose just to let the viewers see. Frank's moves in action, because in this game, if you play as Frank West, you get all of his moves from the first game. Well, almost all of them. They kind of got rid of the disembowel move, which is kind of a bummer. But, eh. Yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. Exactly. Time to get a BFG. Oh. Although we will be switching off characters, next section I'll be playing as Frank, because this is most likely going to take more than one section to record. Yeah. And just to let you know, we're not going to be showing you all the security cameras or where all the prestige point stickers are, because, well, you could just go to any game FAQs and look it up. Saber, would you do the honors of uh, coming down here and showing what this switch here is for? I would love to. Sounds great. You got a good view? Yeah, I got a good view. <laughs> Fulfillment bonus. Oh. Damn it. You leveled up. 49. Yeah, he's not level 50 yet, but don't worry, dude. You are guaranteed to get level 50 when we're pretty much probably done with this section. Most likely. So we have blast frequency guns in this game. You probably can figure out what that means. Roid zombies. However, they are much the blast frequency guns. The blast frequency can gun works. Can be used for more than just roid zombies. Yeah, this is uh the cafeteria. You might want to come here and heal up if you want to because it is the. <laughs> it is the cafeteria. Ah, dynamite, run away! 
No, run away! Oh! You threw your dynamite? Oh, that's what it's... Okay. Those stupid security guards flashbang themselves yet again. And that is why they are security guards. They're too stupid. Yep, they're unreliable and they're stupid.